My name is Dr. Michael Kiplanga Cheruyot. I'm the County Chief Officer for Livestock, Fisheries and Veterinary Services, Nakuru. First and foremost, let me thank all of you for turning up because this is a very, very important meeting or a press conference where we want to sensitize the public. First, let me begin by saying that um, Lake Nakuru has got a history. For many years, it has remained saline. And that is why we have had flamingos. Lake Nakuru is surrounded by rivers, or there are quite a number of rivers feeding Lake Nakuru. Although it is saline, it is believed that it has an underground seepage. That is an uh, underground uh, out outlet. Now, let me begin by saying that the fish in Lake Nakuru is not fit for human consumption. Research has been going on for many years. And research done is on different, uh, different ways. One, sampling has been done on the waters in Lake Nakuru. Number two, sampling has been done on the fish itself. And the recent research indicates, and this is, I'm talking of the, uh, the research results uh, of 2022. These results, when you look at them, and I have them with me, the results indicate that the fish has got high toxicity. Toxicity means high levels of chemicals. Mm. And in this case, I'm talking of chemicals called organochlorine pesticides. Organochlorine pesticides are found in high levels in the fish itself and also in the waters. These results indicate that under all circumstances, the fish from Lake Nakuru is not fit. It is not fit because they have done analysis, as I have said, they pick 30 fish, 30 pieces of fish from different corners of the lake. And they did analysis. Analysis was done in different institutions. They did them in Egerton. They also did them in Carefree. They also did them in Capete, veterinary, food veterinary laboratories. And in those laboratories, they gave almost similar results. The pesticides, which I'm talking about, which are in high levels, are in different types. They collected 16 different types of pesticides. And these pesticides are harmful. They are harmful to our bodies. Therefore, today, we want to send a warning in form of sensitizing our people that fish in Lake Nakuru is not fit for human consumption. And I'm talking of Nakuru city itself. The, the fish which is from Lake Nakuru is finding its way to the, to the city and the environs. The farmers around, that is in Kapkures, Barut, Nakuru East, Nakuru West, and even up to parts of Njoro and Rogai, they are consuming fish from Lake Nakuru. And as you heard earlier, you heard that this fish is going all the way up to Nairobi. And people are consuming unknowingly. They are consuming this fish unknowingly. Of interest is that around Lake Naivasha, the same fish from Lake Nakuru is transported up to the landing beaches. And as a result, the public do not know that this is from Lake Nakuru. Some of it is from Lake Naivasha, and once it is mixed, 
it is purported to be clean fish and it is not the case we are now saying to the public please refrain because apart from the pesticides we also have what we call heavy metals heavy metals are like arsenic lead mercury and others these are metals which are so harmful to our bodies they cause liver cancer and other types of cancers so we are we are actually urging the public that they should do away with this i know there is a lot of, a lot of illegality which is going on and this is not good at all at all the senior warden here the director indicated that the fish from lake nakuru are black in color those from other lakes are not black that is the physical appearance otherwise it is very difficult that is why we are warning the uh, the public and for us to be sure that the fish coming from lake nakuru is not the one coming from lake naivasha we normally keep a movement permit if you find fish from this area or fish intercepted between nakuru and naivasha with no permit that is illegal we issue movement permit for legally harvested fish nile tilapia is the fish found in lake nakuru scientifically it is called olecromias niloticus <coughs> that is the fish from lake nakuru but commonly nile tilapia during uh, el nino rains we find the waters had moved out of the lake and they spill over to parut areas the villages in fact a number of people were displaced displaced now the fish which were found there all we are saying is that whatever kind of fish it is still not fit for human consumption because it came from the lake it's only that the waters rose and uh, they pushed the fish outside let me say that uh, there was no politics on this because sands uh, the way we take sands is not political the fish they are talking about was collected not scientifically you know when you are doing scientific sampling it is different from somebody who has just picked fish floating in the water and taking it to laboratory the fish which was taken to a regional veterinary investigation laboratory here in nakuru uh, it was analyzed but the analysis which was taken or which was done is not good enough to say that the fish is fit for human consumption the laboratory in nakuru who don't do the um the toxicological toxicological is actually the inner and the, what is now telling us that the fish is not fit for consumption so like um, the regional lab here cannot do toxicological or chemical analysis what they did was bacterial analysis they sampled the skin and part of the muscle and what they found was only bacteria and this bacteria is the normal flora which is found on the skin of a human being and also on the skin of the fish so when they saw that it is only the bacteria the people who took it assumed that the fish is fit for human consumption but as i said earlier the fish or rather